Hello, YouTube. What is up? It is me, Jesse, but you can call me Chlorogor. Is he wearing a Domokun hat in this, the year of our Lord, 2014? I think you'd be more upset over the wood paneling. I am going to be doing a rant on musically illiterate imbeciles. You just look like someone who figured out the meaning to pumped up kicks way after everybody else did. What do I mean by that? The people who wear band shirts of bands they don't listen to. I, I see this a lot with bands like Pink Floyd, Nirvana, Foo Fighters, uh, Slipknot. Your taste in music is stuck in 2007. You got, um, the Ramones, uh, Sex Pistols, Dead Kennedys. He probably didn't learn about Holiday in Cambodia from Guitar Hero. You know, you got all these bands that people will wear their merch for a fashion statement. Did this bitch just say merch? Oh, well, this isn't band merch, just a fashion statement as well. Yeah, it is, but these people don't do it to express their musical taste. They do it so they look cool. Why the hell does it matter? What inspired this rant? The other day, here, one second. The other day, I was in school. I saw um, kid, a kid wearing a uh, ICP shirt. So I was just like, oh, hey, I'm going to go try to talk to him, right? Why would you ever say that? Worst mistake I have ever made. Nah, Malcolm Moore, that hair is the worst mistake. In my entire life. So, why do I say that, you ask? I was just like, hey, what's your what's your favorite album by ICP? Um, mine is The Great Malenko. It's a great album. Honestly, really good. Uh, great Malenko and Riddlebox. So I was expecting them to actually know, considering they were wearing an ICP shirt. I said, what's ICP? Don't you think you're overreacting a little bit? You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Do me a favor, never wear that shirt again. Never. Never. Ever. Wear that shirt again. Until you actually research and listen to their music. Well, I guess I'm never gonna wear the shirt again. And if you like it, go ahead. Wear the shirt all you want. And by this, I don't mean listen to one song. Before I listen, uh, before I buy a band shirt, I make sure I at least own one album by the band. I am literally drowning in your elitism. If not, that I've listened to uh, several of their albums, uh, and I enjoy almost all of their work. Hence, why I have uh, two ICP shirts. The other ones in my dirty clothes. Why I have a Nirvana shirt. You use so much Axe body spray that the shirt literally smells like Teen Spirit. Why is this becoming accept acceptable to wear a shirt not knowing what the shirt is? That's like... That's like someone wearing uh, a swastika. Oh shit, here we go. Right? You know, swastika. They don't know what, what Nazis are. They, they don't know. I just like the design. Or the Buddhist. No. I just like the design. They, they're wearing the shirt. Uh, to me, that's kind of like what it is. Sure, not on such a bad... Uh, uh, not as bad on a scale, but it's still pretty bad. Because then you get your hopes up whenever you go and you try to talk to them. Turns out they can't name a single song. So then that puts you at fault for being so judgmental. So stop it. If you do this, stop it. Stop it because I genuinely hate you and you should drop off the face of the earth. I'll do it, but I'm taking your hair down with me. Uh, okay, Ryan, I don't know if I'm gonna be doing this right, but I am gonna um, record my track uh, for the commentary collab thing, I'm just gonna record my lines, and you can, like, edit it out and, like, trim it or whatever. Um, 
Okay, and I'll try to make it to where there's like a space in between so you can get a good edit or fucking whatever, I don't care. Better quit giving me that sass, Briscoe. You know what I do to pop members who are sassy to me.